score. On the near side, it's Petriello. He'll leave it for Felton. Felton kicks it back out. Petriello far side near the Thousand Islands bench. Leaves for Felton behind the net of Matt Anthony. He'll kick it out, and it's in! Looks like Nick Petriello gives us the first goal of the game. Power play goal with one or two left in that power play, and it's 1-0 Dayton. That was great tic-tac-toe. They're working it around. And you know what I'm going to attribute that goal to? and it was unsung and he's not on the score sheet, is Peterson Tallow. And because he's in the front of the net, and he's he, did, he started this last game, and he started it this game where they're putting him in the front of the net on the power play to try to create congestion. And you know what? That was probably the best way to do it because his body got in the way and freed it up for Petriello to get that goal. So unsung, even though he may not show up on the score sheet, you got to give a lot of credit to Peter Sattala and Coach LaFay for that call and great stuff for the Demons to get a good power play um, get a power play goal no. Minute 23 left to go on the 5 on 4 for Thousand Islands and the Demons doing a nice job so far keeping it on Thousand Islands zone. Thousand Islands on the season, power play percentages, 23% Karasovic with a good takeaway Mafus, short handed goal Ahmed Mafus Two to nothing, Dayton. That was a great dig out by Karasowitz to really forecheck really well and, and create that opportunity. And Mafus is the beneficiary. And more assists for Trevor Karasowitz and another goal for Ahmed Mafus. And again, a shorthanded goal, two to nothing. Mafus with goal number 39 on the season. And I totally missed it, Mike. What is on that ice? I have no idea, but they just, this must be an Ahmed Mafus tribute of some sort. I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's, I, look I, like, can't, I can't tell what it is. They look like spray cans of some sort. I'm not sure what exactly I, they are, but I don't know there's what it about is. five of them that landed on the ice. I'm not sure where they came from. We'll have to ask Coach for the post game Yeah, show. we're going to have to figure that one out. I don't know. That They look like spray cans or something. I don't know what they were. They kind of looked like a plastic wrap something. Yeah, around. it looked it was there were little cylinders of some sort, but must be a Mafu's tribute I don't know about, but uh, nonetheless, it's great stuff and the uh, again, and they're still killing off a penalty. We still got a minute left in the uh, Demons uh, Demons penalty. 2 to nothing. Mets gets stuck in traffic and he still maintains the puck even though he was checked by Redmond. Buck is loose, Anthony can't clear it, Jason Hill with a goal! Jason Hill with goal number 33, and it's three to nothing, Demons. That was great stuff from Hill and Mets. Little combination coming back again, and that's just great stuff. Hill went right over top of Anthony. Anthony butterflied up, he had the whole top of the net to shoot at. Three nothing, Demons, great start here in this, uh, in this first period. Absolutely tremendous, three great goals. Last night's uh, contest, or last night's post game show, I should say, Coach Lefebvre did mention the team did start off slow. This is a fantastic start for the Demons Yeah, squad. this is definitely what they needed. Of uh, Mets, and the Privateers pick it back up. Temple shoots it the other way, empty puck, La Villa to Hill. Hill wants another one, tries to leave behind for Wiley. A good pick up, La Villa. Lavia now to Mets. Oh, Mets. Mets. my God, that's Hill to Mets. That combo, From, deadly absolutely. for the Dayton Demons. Lavia to Mets to Hill, absolutely tremendous. Lavia fitting in really well. We were talking about those outlaws trying to fit in. Lavia, you know, Lesko, you know, uh, excuse me, Riccio and, and Karasowitz, and they've just fit in. It's just like nothing's broke, and that's, that's tremendous, tremendous, uh, tremendous action and a tremendous four goal first period here for the Demons. And we will have a goaltending change for the Privateers. And that's number one, that's going I was really surprised that we didn't get a penalty there from uh, Felton because he really yanked, um, yanked him down and the uh, uh, referee decided not to. Puck now the other way for the Dayton Demons. Hill dumps it in! Hill with a hat trick. Where are my hats? There are my hats. There's a fuzzy red hat. 
There's a red baseball cap, a black skull cap. There's a couple of hats flying from the far side of the rink. Jason Hill with his third goal. With 16.40 left to go in the second period. Dayton five, Thousand Island zero. Third hat trick we've seen of this series for Dayton. There goes some more hats. Jason Hill with goals number one, two, three on the night. That gives him 35 on the season. Yeah, he's, great stuff from Hill. It's He's, you know, really one, uh, really being, uh, been a tremendous, you know, and it's a true testament to this depth. It's always somebody else. You know, every night it's somebody different, you know, and, and, and that's just a true testament to the depth here. You know, it's always new stars every night, you know, and, and, and tonight, you know, the, the wonderful Jason Hill, uh, you know, um, player of the player of the month for the uh, player of the month for the league. Um. By the privateers in the red jerseys tonight, very sharp jerseys, as it's picked up by the Dayton Demons. There's Chris Lavier wearing James Stanford's own number, leaves it behind Braden Metz. Metz wants a second shorthanded goal right at DiLorenzo, and they it's got in! It. Wow, Braden Metz, second shorthanded goal tonight, his first today, and it's six to nothing, Dayton. That, I thought DiLorenzo had that. And so did I, and Metz went near side. DiLorenzo was, was hugging the post, which he should have been doing, and. Metz didn't have much room to put it in, but he found a way to get it in there, and he he slipped past it. I think he had it at first, and then because the light didn't come on right away, and I think it dropped behind him. So um, Metz put it near post, unbelievable, and uh, second shorthanded goal of the night for the Demons. Absolutely tremendous. Comes a season two, a little bit more unusual tonight. Yeah, a little bit. They do have other traffic in here. Karasowicz, the only one in front, and it goes! Trevor Karasowicz dumps it in past his old teammate, DiLorenzo, and it's now seven to nothing, Dayton Demons. That's a great pickup from Santal to see Karasowicz right at the blue line, pick him right out and go right in un uninvaded and un uncontested against DiLorenzo. Great pickup by Santal to push that puck up there and make that happen, seven to nothing, Dayton. Fifth goal for Carrasco. Side, the attacking zone of the Demons. 2.43 left to go in our second period. Seven to nothing, Dayton. It's right over the shoulder of DiLorenzo towards his right side, picked back up by Felton. Felton rolls towards the near point. Your side bounces around the boards and it's picked back up by the Demons. That's gonna be Watt. Watts got it, rolls around. He'll spin around, it's chipped. It's picked back up by Felton. Felton tries to leave it, it's in, it goes! Eight to nothing, Dayton! That was an impressive goal, Mike. Looks like Felton. DiLorenzo has allowed four goals, along with his other counterpart, Anthony. And the scoreboard might read 0 to 0, but trust us, folks, it's 8 to nothing. And I know That's I said this a couple times, but I wish they would fix that light. Fit one privateer to beat. He'll slow it down. Metz, Mafus, and it's in! Yeah. Mafus, his second goal tonight. And the Demons lead 9 to nothing over the Thousand Islands privateers. That was great stuff. Tic-tac-toe, Mafus again. Great stuff. 38 seconds left in the second period. DiLorenzo has given up five goals. And it's now nine to nothing. Clear it out for the Demons. Now to Watt. Watt's got a privateer in front. He wants another goal. He'll get it here. Terry Watt with his second goal tonight. And the Dayton Demons lead 10 to nothing. Two goals against his former team tonight. Terry Watt has to have a smile on his face. They really picked up the transition. Watt was just hanging by the blue line, picked him up, and he went in on a, uncontested. 
DiLorenzo didn't have a chance. Demons up 10 nothing. First time we've seen double digits and goals for the Demons in a couple of yeah, games. Yeah, quite a while, so. After passing the red line and the privateers have to chase it back. There's Redmond, he'll take it himself, moves it up and it's touched by Mafus. Mafus crosses the final blue line, surrounded by five red jerseys and he dumps it in! Oh man, Mafus with a second hat trick tonight and the second hat trick of this Dayton versus Thousand Island series. 11 to nothing, Dayton. Hill and Mafus with the hat tricks tonight. Yeah, he had to wait for Karasowicz to get back because he had stolen the puck in the neutral zone, but he had to wait. And as soon as, he, as soon as he got the opportunity, he went right over the line and beat DiLorenzo. 11 to nothing, Demons, 10-18 left to go in the third period. Mafus with three tonight, that gives him 41 on the season. That's tops on this Dayton squad. I have a face off in center ice. Rose, and it's touched up by Lucas Shaw. He misplays it, but it's Felton with it. Jesse Felton, and we're back to even straight. Chase Tippin comes out of the box and goes back to the bench. Felton cuts his way through, and he dumps it in! The linesman says it in as he flies over the goalie. We got a little bit of a fight, DiLorenzo. And we have some pounding of fists jumping on the back of a demon. I can't see where that was. I think that's number 16, Dill. But that's a goal for Jesse Felton. And Jesse Felton with his first tonight. 12 to nothing, Dayton, and we still have that shot. He's taking a privateer on the ice. We got a mob of privateers and demons going for it. Shot. I can't tell who the privateer is for shot, but there's a demon down on the ice. There's Felton. He's patting the back of DiLorenzo, and shot lies on the ice. Lucas shot. He gets a loud standing ovation by the fans, and his opponent was number 16, Jeff Dill. Yeah, we'll probably have. Uh, and shot's getting out of here. Shot will be done but he was protecting Felton because Felton kind of got hit on the, on the end to get the goal. But the one they really need to get is... Um, and Dill's heading out of here as yeah. well. Zaleski skates. Hey, Dill, here's your glove, and here's your stick. Here's your other glove, too. I'm assuming there'll probably be five-minute uh, fighting majors for both of those. But the one I think we're going to get is the one that he yanked off, which is, um, I, I, just from what I'm seeing here, I think the privateers will get a power play out of this because we have a third man in from the demons. It looked like it was, um, um, it looked like it was Watt that you pulled. Uh, that's who you pulled off. That's who they pulled off. I have a feeling they're going to get him. And to be honest, I think they'll probably get him on a game misconduct because I think that's a third man in because there was two guys involved, engaged, and then Watt got involved, so which is a no-no in hockey. So, but we'll see what they come up with. But that would be my guess if it if if it evens out or they just at, put you know at least at least. Um, they just you know, put the 12th goal on the scoreboard, so yeah. it looks like that will stand. Oh, that was going to stand. The, the, the referee never signaled. The red light was on. The puck was in. There was really no doubt about that. The referee never signaled because the referee was more worried about the, you know, that the, um, you know, stuff going on in front and so are the linesmen. So. There's a two minutes for Dayton, so Thousand Islands will be back on the power. That, 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 would be, like that, was, that was my guess. As I was assuming Dayton would be. Uh, shorthanded because it was basically it was Watt and uh, and Shot that got involved there, and I assume it's either going to be Watt, um, Watt with the extra, and then Shot and Dill with the uh, even it out because they were the two on the ice. So I'm assuming they'll probably get five minute, probably five minute fighting majors. I'm guessing, but uh, we'll see how it all shakes down here on the uh, 
on the statistics. Dayton 12, Thousand Island 0, 331 left to play in our game. Two minutes put on the board against the Dayton Demons. Thousand Islands back on that power play. But kind of lost in all this was the great uh, great effort by Felton to score the goal. And he yeah. jumped over the goalie. Absolutely. Did we see that? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he that was a great effort. He was trying to avoid the goalie any you know anyway, and I thought that was just a great single effort and, and unfortunately he got, he got lost in the whole um, Yep, Dill will get five minutes for fighting. So shot and Dill, five minutes for fighting. Unless Thousand Islands puts 12 goals in three minutes and 31 seconds, that's the rest of the game for those two gentlemen. And yeah, they gave an extra two. They actually charged the extra two to, um, looks like they charged the extra two to shot, but he will also get an instigating Five on four time for the red clad privateers team. 12 to nothing, Dayton or score. 331 left to go in the game. And I